Hello and welcome back to Pisha Noe in the second battle of Kharkov. So the last two times, basically what we did uh, at first is we infiltrated on this side of Pisha Noe. Took out these positions here with uh, heavy air support and moved up until the edge of the village here, which is uh, already burning. And then the other, uh, in the other battle we attacked along the axis in the north over here. I think it's slightly out of position, um, out of this uh, scope here. Now we are laying down a quick smoke and incendiary um, screen here. And my troops are going to move on the town itself, or well, it's more of a village really. My submachine gun platoon here, I have two companies. My submachine gun platoon here will try to gain the bridge over the little river here. And after that I will move my infantry over and tr start to comb through the town. As you can see we already set a light more of the village just to drive the Germans out maybe. There's smoke over there where I don't really know where it's coming from. In support I have six T-34s which start out here on top of the hill. And um, also some BT-5s which will remain in reserve for now. Just in case they have any tank guns. The artillery is weirdly quiet. Okay, that makes more sense. This is of course incendiary ammunition. I hope that I will create a lot of smoke. I also called in a real smoke barrage, but so far the smoke has been falling everywhere but on target. But okay, uh, I guess that's to be expected. Submachine gun platoon is advancing. Okay, more smoke, but the smoke is really inaccurate, that's actually weird. Did I do something wrong there? As I said, I leave these tanks here in overwatch for now, but I will move up more tanks um, along the road here soonish. Okay, apparently we're, we're taking fire. I also have um, Maxim guns on top of the hill as well. This is uh, this unit here. As soon as they spot anything, they will hopefully hail some water-cooled goodness on them. Yeah, the smoke is like really, really inaccurate. It's weird. Although that might actually be an advantage, as the smoke, of course, kind of drifts around. Obviously, uh, what I'm trying to do here is protect the crossing site from enemy observation. As soon as the submachine gunners are over, all the... yeah, okay, that's actually decent uh, smoke cover. As soon as the submachine gunners are over, the tanks will drive as well. <laughs> We're really bombarding them now. I do hope that we're gonna cause some damage here to the Germans as well. I thought we were taking fire, but I think they just got spooked by our own artillery. Red means enemy contact. Or mines, uh, that could also be the case. Nope, it's not mines, it's a light field howitzer. Which we are firing at with our tanks, that's why I left them in overwatch by the way. I just hope we can knock it out, yup, that was actually pretty quick. That's a weird position on the forward slope here. And it never opened up on my tanks, probably for good reason. But yeah, that's a um, 105mm gun. 
That sounded like there's another one firing. You can see that there's German positions here. I don't like the sound of that. No, there's another one here. My, my tanks are apparently firing at it. They are suppressed. That's the Germans. They're firing at my tanks now. I will check the damage later. No, oh, that seems like a good hit with the HE. These big guns are of course somewhat uh, suspicious, not uh, conspicuous, that's what I was looking for. Come on. Our artillery is also landing around. Oh, we lost contact with it, but uh, yeah, the artillery is landing really close. That would be a nice hit for the artillery here. Yeah? Yes! Nice. Hope they don't have much more of those. Many more of those, rather. Okay, let's check on our troops. They did take, obviously, they did take some casualties because that first shot basically landed right among them, yeah. Okay, we do have the bridge and we are across as well. Okay, so the second phase needs to start now. T-34s will cross the river. In support of our um, troops here. We have some contact with German infantry in the uh, town. The submachine gunners will take position around this compound here and then wait for the tanks to arrive. Yep, getting a bit of micro stutter here, yeah? kind of weird. Okay, this gun seems completely knocked out. But this one over here might still be active. Uh, at least I did hear another shot ring ringing out from it. That being said, my tanks being in overwatch should be able to... Well, actually this looks knocked out, doesn't it? I told the tanks to not attack but to use the road instead, which is usually quite risky. But I hope that in this case it will work out. Hope there are no mines, but there are no minefield marked here. Um, I'm kind of happy that they didn't... Um, that they didn't fight for this bridge more. Okay, that said, we are in combat with defending infantry as well, so it would be nice to get the tank over quite quickly, the tanks, I should say. I hear them firing, so I think they're still... yeah, this one is still active. Oh, that was a good one. Yeah, we're still in combat with enemy artillery here. Sending up red flares. My submachine gunners slowly working themselves forward. Against uh, enemy infantry. This one apparently got hit at some point. Let's see if our tanks uh, manage to maneuver across the bridge. Okay, they're still... Ah, okay, they're on the road now automatically, which is decent. I don't like that. Oh, they're shooting at my tanks. Yeah, you can mortar my tanks all you want. Um, this is not as great. Oh, oh no, okay, never mind. I thought they took out my Maxim gun, but didn't. Black flare going up. Usually that means retreat, right? Okay, 
I got a casualty here. But yeah, I... Now that sounded like one of their guns. That looks like they gave this one up. No, okay, they're still active. Another good hit, goody. Okay. Black Flare. Hope my tanks haven't been like massively damaged from those uh, artillery hits, but it doesn't really look like it. I mean, the vegetation is burnt around them, but that usually only means that they find their guns. The blast burns away the vegetation, which is a decent detail, I would say. Okay, my tanks are crossing the river. Once they are over, we will tell them to advance together with the submachine gunners through this um, build-up area. Lots of black flares going up, hopefully indicating a retreat, maybe. I don't really want to fight in this area, I'm not gonna lie. What is my next, like, objective objective? Pishanoi East 10, and then South also 10 points worth, okay. Was that a mine? It looked like something exploded when he drove past there. It's not immobilized though. Okay, moment of truth. Because that bridge to me looks buggy. If we play, if you place a bridge like that in FH2, we'll, you will have a bad time. Ah, uh, okay. Could be worse. <laughs> You can tell from combat mission I'm extremely, extremely um, wary of bridges. Now, what I'm thinking of right now is what do I do with my second... Okay, more artillery of minus landing with my second infantry company. I don't really want to employ them too much, but maybe they will be able to get this grid here to give us more territory. What is that? Mine explosion. I was right, those were mines! <laughs> but we just drove through, one second. Damage? No. Uh, well, I mean, this first one must have triggered the mines, right? No damage. Anti-personnel mines? But why did my infantry not trigger that shit? There was one explosion here, but that was from the uh, light field howitzer. And looks quite gnarly, but those weren't mines. So I guess those were anti-tank mines that just didn't work. <laughs> Fair enough. The bridge is clear and not under fire anymore, so my infantry can bunch up a bit and move quickly. The tanks are getting into position next to my submachine gunners, and I will move them together through the town with an... Uh, I guess with an assault command or an attack command. Probably attack until here. Well, there's flares going up over here. So this needs to be assaulted. Um, which position is that? Okay, between uh, that and the south. Okay, yeah. That's what we're gonna do. Okay, we're forming up. The others are crossing the bridge in a very risky and spread out, ma uh, not spread out manner, but um, we keep getting artillery fire on the hill, mortars I think. Okay, they're forming up for an attack, the infantry will also go into this compound and then move after them in a more spread out manner. There's a lot of flares going up, this is actually not a great sign, that means there's a lot of Germans back in the orange one, I don't know what that means, maybe they're calling in more mortar fire. Should probably move up the Maxim guns as well. These pre-made positions seem to be completely abandoned, except that one gun. 
I'm gonna move the other tanks in as well. My artillery is still falling. Okay, let's go in. Forming up the second wave, the, uh, one of the rifle platoons here. These guys are clearing very slowly, I like it actually. As soon as we make contact, uh, this is gonna be a more tricky proposition. There are German positions here, but uh, they don't seem to be occupied, by the way. Did we shoot here? Huh. Odd. Of course, um, fighting like this in built-up territory is a nightmare. Really, the infantry should maybe lead, but... We have, by the way, found the mortar position, it's somewhere back here. But apparently my tanks can't really target them there. Rifle platoon uh, moving up next. Uh, they will take this main objective here. The Germans, by the way, have offered ceasefire, but obviously not gonna do that. That tank is lagging a bit behind. My rifle platoons have now, or um, platoon, it's only one for now, have now overtaken actually the submachine gunners and tanks and are advancing on Pechano South, our first objective here, or what's left of it. And as I had thought, we are running into more enemy resistance now. Our tanks are supporting, which I like. Thanks, mate. They are holed up in these, I guess administrative buildings or schoolhouses or whatever. Sorry about the sirens in the background, but apparently I live in some kind of ghetto. Where are my tanks? Okay, they're advancing here. Okay, more Germans in these buildings apparently. And I hear mortar fire as well, that's always concerning. Told the tanks to get a move on at least to a degree. And some German firing a submachine gun out of here. Seems like we have taken this building. There's dead Germans inside, quite obviously. Oh, 
Over here we have uh, reached the old position of the German artillery gun here. Okay, we have taken the objective here. But there's still German resistance in these buildings, or some of them at least, so I'm bringing up one of the tanks from the submachine gun platoon for now, just to maybe knock some of that shit out. I also don't like the sound of that mortaring, because we don't have any mortars for some reason. Yeah, those are German mortars. Maybe firing from these positions? It's hard to tell. Germans. Okay, let's see how they deal with the T-34. I think I took a casualty there. Huh? Where are you coming from? Well, that's a Nazi though. I hear mortar fire, I think. Yeah, there must be the mortar battery over here. Okay, our submachine gunners and tanks will deal with this one next. Oh, there's actually trenches over here, interesting. Okay, moving up another rifle platoon to hold the objective while we're mopping up the rest of the Germans here. <sighs> There's still these... But okay, the tanks and the submachine gunners will advance towards the second objective and hopefully take out that mortar battery as well. I really can't imagine that there's too many Nazis left here. This one seems to be crawling away. Or running now. Be nice if somebody could hit him, just saying. That being said, seems to be a hard target. So, that's our SMG platoon, I think. Oh no, those are normal riflemen. Oh yeah, the submachine gun platoon is advancing over here. Behind the tanks, they're using smoke for cover as well. Oh, this is gonna be annoying uh, to fight in here. Then again, if you're gonna do it, uh, do doing it with the submachine gun platoon seems the best solution here. Yeah, uh, they're taking cover behind the tanks. They're as I said, they are submachine gun platoon, but this early in the war is still May 42. They didn't have that many submachine guns, actually, not as much as later. And uh, in this game, in May 42, they're mostly using PPDs as well, by the way. And uh, so the rest of that are made up by SVT-40s. So they just pulled all their light automatic weapons into there, which I think is fairly realistic. Okay, just so you know, our target is Pichonoi South. There's Germans there, as evidenced by those flares going up. Okay, the rooster is crowing. I wish some more infantrymen were with that T-34 to be honest. Oh, 
how is it looking over here? We are still in combat here, but my troops seem fairly steady. There's no like panicking going on, so that's good. So it can't be that bad. That's the thing with this game. Sometimes it's fairly hard to tell what exactly is going on compared to combat mission, but that is kind of adding to the charm sometimes. Over there, my second platoon has arrived and taken up defensive positions at the objective, so I told the others to get a move on and assault into this uh, German nest there. I hope they don't need tank support to root them out. This is my forward T-34, which is supported by three guys only. I guess they are being sent out as a scout team here. I often notice that if you tell the AI to do their own maneuvering, they send out a smaller part of the main force, like essentially as a scout force, which makes a lot of sense. Are those German smoke nades? I did hear some kind of mortar going off or something. Black Flare. I think Black Flare is enemy contact, right? Ah, okay. Ah, yeah, right, that's where the, that 80mm uh, mortar was. Don't like that. Let's hope we can um, take that out with our tanks at some point. Let's stay with the forward tank here. Let's see what trouble we're getting into with them. They keep throwing the smoke nades out. Okay, our infantry is taking care of the mortar, which is good. Yeah, they're advancing behind the tank, taking care of the mortar. Did we take a casualty here? Or is that a German? Now that looks like one of ours, damn it. Actually two of ours, probably from that mortar. Yes, now we're talking. Yeah, that should be the end of that one. Okay, we're in combat now. Seems to be fire coming from that barn. Oh, and from that house, apparently. Okay, they fired a flare from that barn, somehow through the roof, I guess. <laughs> okay. Was that friendly fire? What the fuck's going on here? Oh, okay. Apparently we won, I think. Okay, let's see. We lost 9 casualties, 2 killed, 7 heavily wounded, 14 just lightly wounded. They lost um, 31 casualties, 9 killed, 10 heavily wounded, 12 missing, 5 wounded and I guess escaped. They lost 3 vehicles, which I didn't notice. Hmm. Probably because... and 1 damaged, right? Yeah, okay, that's Germany still. And we didn't lose any tanks. Uh, most of our losses were, I guess, um, infantry. And no tanks or anything. So, yeah, okay. Let's return to our operations map and see what's going on. And here we go, we defeated a battle group. Don't know if you actually saw that. Defeated a battle group and um, we took our, basically, our objectives. Don't like this here. Why are my buddies not advancing? That would be good to keep our flanks clear. But other than that, looking quite good. That was the first turn. I hope you enjoyed it. As always, thanks for watching and have a nice day.